Just a few short months ago, this facility built in the 1940s looked nothing like it does today. Thanks to our great team, Spirit's footprint and fabrication machining excellence features the state-of-the-art machines behind us. Machines that will be the catalyst in our pursuit to build fabrication into a billion-dollar business. Spirit's making this investment not because they believe in their mayor. They're making this investment because they believe in all of you, the workers that are going to make this happen. So thank you for believing in Wichita workers and for investing and seeing the start of $1 billion being invested right here in Wichita, Kansas. Thank you very much. This is the continuation of the announcement that we attended in December and demonstrates Spirit's continued commitment to capital investment and job growth in our community. The expansion once again showcases why we are the air capital of the world. We welcome every opportunity to partner and expand the manufacturing base in this community. Our members are the best precision aviation workers in the world and organized labor is in the business of lifting up the middle class, strengthening our communities and making the best products on the planet. The grand opening today is really another demonstration of these investments that Spirit is making to ensure our company's success for many years and many decades into the future. Uh, this center of excellence significantly expands our capabilities to not only deliver parts on time, but to make sure that they are at the quality levels that our customers demand. This new five-axis center of excellence highlights Spirit's unique and unmatched capability to build machine parts, not only for the aerospace industry, but it also opens the door for countless other fabrication opportunities that match our capabilities. The point is, is that fabrication of advanced aerospace parts is a big growth opportunity for Spirit and a big growth opportunity for the aerospace community in Wichita and surrounding Kansas.